Now this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1989 Saab 900 Turbo SPG. You don't see these very often. Really, really cool car. I've actually got three black turbos. Right now I have an everyday uh, driver 86 that you'll see in the photos. Then I also have a 85 uh, coupe as well that I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with that one. Kinda wanna turn it into a kind of a cool rally car to kind of match the other one, so. Anyways, this is an SPG, factory SPG, factory black. It's got about 80,000 miles on it. It's got uh, leather interior, a gray leather interior. Really nice little car. It has had one repaint, probably, I'm guessing, like 15 years ago. You know, the condition looks pretty good. It's got a few little chips and little scratches and different things in general. It's had about five owners. Got the car fax and everything for you on the auction that you can see there was a couple little uh mix-ups on the uh carfax which is kind of goofy and it's hard to trust carfax in, in general but it went uh came up to oregon in 09 retitled and everything and had about 75,000 miles on it i think and then uh in 2011 it was sold again to another guy in oregon who i got it from well here's the goofy thing so he owned it in 2011 all the way up till just 2019 and in Carfax it says that it went through back through smog down in California in 2011 and 2014 well it went through smog in Oregon too it's just it's just goofy they they screwed up I actually called the uh, place down there said hey you smog this car and there must have been a mix-up with license plates or something goofy because the car was never there and even the uh, notes are exactly the same. So he goes, yeah, I don't know what happened. And I actually talked to the guy, uh, and he'll probably pop up on Bat, who owned it uh, down there. I think he was like the third owner. And he goes, yeah, I don't know. He goes, I remember the car, great car, but I don't, obviously never had it because I sold it. So anyways, I'll, uh, you'll see that in the auction and I'll try to explain it more. So anyways, let's walk around and show you the lights. Got bright lights, regular lights, turn signals. You can see a little white light down there work too. And then you'll see the fog lamps are working and the uh, blinkers there on the side of the fenders. So we'll just walk around the front to the back. You know, it's not a perfect car, but it's actually pretty nice. If you see me pointing at something, it's usually a little chip or something like that. When you look down the side, actually looks pretty straight not a lot of cars can wear black you know you can hear the fan turn on so it's working this here is a little scratch in the grill you'll see some little imperfections in the paint again it's probably about 15 years old you can see a little imperfection right there actually a good cut and buff would be really nice for it right now you know, it's hard sometimes to have a black car, especially when you live on a gravel road like I do. So it gets dusty every time I bring it out here. The tires are from 2013. They're Bridgestone Potenza. They are 195.60.15. The horsepower difference on a SPG is about five horsepower more, but the big thing is uh, different suspension on it in general and the ground effects you can see there. On this side, you'll see some bigger chips. You can see here and here. There's a couple right there. There, another one right there. You know, the car does not have any rust at all. It's actually really, really clean. I'll put it up on my lift for you in a little bit. You can see here down the gutters are very nice. Sunroof, power sunroof, it does work. My 86 has a manual one. Manual one. Go ahead and shut it back. You know, so that functions good. Original windshield. Little small divots in the windshield. Nothing major. No chips or anything like that. 
you know, it's just a really nice, nice, nice driver. Uh, something that you could take to uh, cars and coffee and stuff and enjoy yourself. There's a little chip right here. I love when these windows pop out. It'll actually go one more out. See a little tiny scratch. And a little one right here. You'll see here, it's got the correct covers on it that they put on the SPG. We'll go ahead and uh, flip it around here in a second. You can see a little scratch right there, but I don't see any uh, rust bubbles, nothing on the car in general. So we'll flip it around and uh, you can get a better look at it. Hey, just wanted to flip it around there so you get a little better look at it in general with the sun on this side. You'll see little swirls and different things in it, but overall, really, really clean little car. You can see here, let's go, go ahead and show the lights. Got your brake lights. Got the reverse lights are working. Got blinkers. Blinkers. There we go. Right and left. And even the license plate. Light works there. You'll see some little hairline little cracks in the tail lights. Pretty common. General, this one looks a little bit better. Spoiler looks good on the back, it's not all warped or anything like that. You know, seal all the way around the back window looks good. You know, again, here's a sorry, it's got a little dust. You can see here a little chip right there. You'll be pretty impressed when I have it up on my lift, a little imperfection in the paint there. Again, the gutter looks really really good it's not rusty or anything like that you see a couple little chips right there nothing around the wheel well or anything like that a couple little chips around the door door edge there you can see that pretty good you know overall looks nice in general you know you can see a couple little tiny things so Hopefully uh, you get a good view of it there. Just a nice looking car. You look down the side. Again, pretty nice and straight. So we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff. Hey, we're going to take a look at the interior real fast. I wanted to show you that usually what happens on these if you put the key in there and hit it twice, it'll lock all the doors. That function is not working. The other thing that's not working is the uh, cruise control. And the guy said that occasionally it would work, but I haven't got it to work yet in general. But overall, really clean interior in general. You know, it is black leather interior, well, kind of a gray color in general. So it actually looks looks in pretty good shape. You can see a little cut right there on the front. Actually, might have missed that in one of my pictures. Just didn't see it there. Stanley's kind of a fan. You like that, Stan? Door panels look nice. Usually, what happens here, just because I know the uh, padding gets disintegrated and this gets all wrinkly, and you can see the. Headliner looks really, really, really good. You know, I don't think it's been replaced, but it's possible. Because um, usually those are wrinkly and falling down. Because I know, because I have one that's doing that. You see the original tag right there. Catalyst sticker. You can see a little tape line right there when it was repainted. The rest of this is original paint. You know, no signs of any accidents or anything like that in the jams. Actually looks pretty clean. Original tag right there. Gaskets look good. The dash pad is decent, but it does have a few cracks. You can see right there on the edges. There's another one right there in the middle. We'll look on the other side here in a minute. Steering wheel's in pretty good shape. A little bit of wear. The pedals 
aren't all worn out. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. So that's pretty, uh, you know, usually if it had a lot more miles, it wouldn't be in very good shape. Go ahead and look in the back seat. You can see a little discoloration on the bottom of the seat right here in this area. It's almost like they kind of wiped something on it because the color's a little different there so carpet looks good overall so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the other side real quick here we are on the uh, passenger side just wanted to show you kind of the same things original owner's manual and everything in the original binder this here isn't original they never put SPG there would be 900 but the uh, previous owner thought it would be cool to have something like that because they never put anything on these cars that said SPG. You can see a little tiny crack there. I was going to say before that it hasn't had any pets in it but there's one right there, Stanley, but he's never ridden in it. I think he thinks that's my other car but I won't let him ride in it either. You can see the original VIN tag. Again, that little tape line, but the rest of the jam looks good. Come here. We'll look at this jam here. Very good. And you can see a little wear through right here. You know, but the rest of the door panel looks looks in nice shape. I think there was a couple little oh here. You can see a couple little wear throughs, a little cut right there on the seat overall. But again, the rest of it looks pretty good. Usually uh, Saab interiors are just hammered, and you probably already know that, but uh, this one's actually in, in really nice uh, condition overall. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the trunk. Here we are uh, at the trunk. There's a little little lever right there. This little tray. Again, it's just all carpet back here. I don't think you can see what I'm doing here. Maybe I'll take this, this out here real fast for you. You'll see some little staining right here. Just kind of a little deterioration. Underneath here, you're going to see spare tire. It's all intact. I love how they actually put a bag in it uh, for a punctured tire. There's a little towel that was sitting on top of that. There was a little bit of, uh, hopefully, you can see in here, a little pore 15 was put here. There was a little bit of surface uh, rust there, but the rest looks really good. I'll get a little flashlight here. So you can see, there we go. There was just a little poor 15 put there, but the rest of the floor looks good. Original VIN number, stamped. You know, so overall, pretty clean little trunk. It's got the uh, tools right here, you can see. I think there's one missing right there, a little screwdriver. But everything else is, is there. So, doing that with one hand, not too good. So we'll go ahead and leave that uh, right there. So overall, it looks pretty good. Underneath here, I was going to show you, it's not rusty underneath the trunk lid at the bottom. Looks really good. Original stamp on the trunk lid too so anyways we will uh, show you some more stuff hey we're gonna take a look underneath the hood real fast there's actually a lever underneath the dash and there's a little flipper right here what I like about sobs you can actually flip the hood forward just pretty cool in general so right here is where all the magic is 
16 uh, valve turbo motor. I actually like the way these look underneath the hood in general. Uh, it's got 165 horse, sounds really good, runs really good. You'll see here, if you don't know Saab's, that the engine's backwards, so the front of it's this way and the transmission's up front here. You can see it has AC, which isn't working right now. The belt's on it and everything. The other thing I want to look at up here, which is really important, is it doesn't have any uh, issues with the aprons. They haven't been hit or anything. The hood has been replaced. I actually saw, I think it was on a Carfax or something like that, or it had been checked for a hood hood damage. Like I said, it had been repainted before, but uh, I was looking at that little sticker over there, and that sticker has a different number on it, so that that hood has been replaced on the car, but you can see they didn't paint it underneath, so it was a factory black hood that they put it back on it, but they did have it repainted. The uh, sticker down there on the fender does match the car, and all the doors are the original uh, trunk lid and all that, and there's another little sticker right down here that matches as well. So, you know, just trying to give you an idea of what it was. You know, obviously it was nothing heavy that happened up here in the front at all. It was, you know, just talked about some light damage on the hood. So you can see the original VIN tag right there on the apron. So we'll go ahead and uh, start it up. You can hear it run. You know, it actually sounds uh, pretty good. You can see the turbo down there. That's plenty of boost and everything. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it sounds great. You can see here a little oxidation under the black on the valve cover there. So you can see here where the turbo is. They have a factory shield there, so that can get pretty hot in general. So. Anyways, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what it looks like underneath the hood. In general, no weird noises or anything like that. No uh, strange oil drips or anything. So we'll put it on my lift, we'll get a closer look at the undercarriage. <laughs> dash real fast you can see the tack is working you can see the turbos moving obviously it goes higher when you're out actually driving it parking brake lot works if you remember they have these extractor these these uh are supposed to go back and forth for the uh, seat belt retractors and they've been disconnected so they don't go back and forth they're kind of annoying if you've ever been in one of these uh, so the uh, seat belt light stays on. I just wanted to show you the blinkers are working. Bright lights, you can see it go on and off uh, there. The other thing I was going to show you, I don't know, it's kind of got stuck in there. Sometimes that's working and sometimes it's not. You kind of got it. There we go. And it's hot right now. You can hear the fan. The frost now is on. So everything seems to be working there. Aftermarket radio had an alarm in it. At some point, it's not working uh, correctly right now. Um, and the, I think I mentioned it earlier, but I can't remember the, uh, uh, what's it called? Cruise control. <laughs> the cruise control was a little sporadic and sometimes works, sometimes not, but I haven't actually been able to make it work at all. So anyways, these little tiny things, nothing uh, nothing major. You can see down here is where the, uh, the roof is, is at. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good idea in general. We'll uh, take it out for a little spin right now and show you some other stuff.
Hey, here we're gonna take a look at the uh, Saab underneath. You're obviously gonna see all the still photos and everything, but you know, we like to put stuff up on a lift and you can get a different perspective of it in general in a video. I can poke at different things and just show you a little better than a photo would show. So we'll just uh, start here from the front uh, to the back. You'll see just some light scuffing right here across the uh, chin spoiler nothing real bad maybe a little tiny corner taken off right there but let me double check yeah you can see the difference there that's probably the worst damage here not really damage just kind of wrinkled there but if you look underneath here a lot of times these are broken these little fins and they look good You know, the ground effects look good up here in the front. Bumper cov cover and everything looks nice. You can see the tires are in uh, good shape. I'd probably say that was our 95% in general. I was going to look for the uh, date code for you real fast. I think i got to go to the inside. 2013-13, if you can see that. But they look nice, they're Bridgestones. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, 2013, you can see there. So they all match around. We'll look at maybe the date ones on the back, but you can see up here, there's not any accident damage, no rust issues or anything like that. You can see a little seepage on the motor in general. But nothing real alarming or anything like that. My little Saab looks like this too. The boots, it's hard to get in the video, but they actually look good. They're not uh, cracked or anything like that. Poses look nice. There's no rust up there in the shock towers, or strut towers. You know, everything looks actually really clean. I don't see any any damage at all. You can see up in here, the engine, and the skid plate looks good. Go ahead and look at this boot. Looks in nice shape. Brake line, no cracking on it or anything like that. You know, we'll take the tires off so you can see in general. If you look up inside, the inner rocker and stuff looks actually really good. You know, no cracks or anything on the bottom. You know, they look in pretty good shape. Frame rails look good. Exhaust is all complete. You know, it's got its cat on it. Go ahead and look at this floor over here. Actually pretty clean underneath here, actually. You can see on the bottom. You know, usually these are pretty hammered. That's why I'm spending some time showing you the bottoms of these you know they haven't been hit or anything look look really nice flaps are still on it if you look up in here there's not any rust not any problems at all brake line looks good Let's see this brake line you know, it's a little dirty but it looks good too you know, no rust back here. See, back in here is where, you know, some rust can hide or damage. You know, if these got damaged at all. But this one's actually really clean across the tail panel. If you look up in here, looks good at the trunk drop off at the bottom of the quarters. You know, structurally, I think it looks really, really good overall. You know, it's actually in really good shape, you know, on the floors and everything. and not really any issues just you know a car that's been driven in general so hopefully that gives you a good look underneath you know it just gives you a different uh, perspective of it you know, if you got any questions you know you can make comments on the auction you can call me email me through the auction so anyways would uh, be glad to help it is no reserve so 
top bids are going to get it. And thanks for looking.